This is the unrepaired spindle. This is the uh, chuck end and the drive end. The larger of the hilo shifter gears is on the chuck end. First step is to remove these uh, this gear. The first thing to do is to remove these two nuts on the spindle. Okay. Turns that way to undo. The other one holds it. So we'll just take that nut off. Put that over there. Second one. There. Yeah, we we'll remove the gear. way down the bottom. To remove the plastic spacer I first have to remove this small keyway. It just pops out of there. A little bit tight then the spacer just pulls off like that. Pull it out. Next step is to remove the plastic flange behind the chuck plate. And this is done through the holes in the flange which line up with the Allen, Allen key screws. There we go. Okay. This is the third screw. So now we, um, having loosened the bearing cover by removing the bolts on this side, we now take the bearing cover off the other side. And at this stage, you'll notice we need to take this gear off. So for that, we need our um, special circuit pliers. So let's put our circuit pliers in there. Like that. Pop that there. And remove the gear wheel. This gear is quite tight so you have to gently prise it off with a blade bit at a time. You'll see it starting to move a little bit. It just uh, doesn't just pull off easily enough with your fingers. It's actually quite tight on the shaft. Uh, gently pushing it all the way around. It's uh, slowly coming out. They're not very expensive if you break them, but you don't want to break it if you can help it. Here it is there. That's the top, the outside with the uh, number with the uh, writing in there. So that goes there. Now we'll continue to remove the three screws that hold the bearing cover on this side of the spindle box. Uh, here I've got a cardboard box and I'm going to put the components in the order I took them out in the each of the trays in the box. So the first three items are the um, the nuts and the gear, followed by the spindle. Then 
and not forgetting the small uh, small keyway. Then the three screws that hold the bearing cover on that side of the uh, spindle box, followed by the gear and the small um, clip. And we'll actually, I'll just get another box with some more partitions. I'll throw them in there. Put those little pans to one side. We'll put the C spanners in the first hole. That way we know in which order we removed everything. Now I'll take the bearing cover off the drive side and it'll go in the same partition as the three nuts. And down here we have a, little, a small um, keyway. We don't want to lose that. So that goes with the gear wheel, the plastic gear wheel we took off. That one there. So we've got to make sure we don't lose all these little keyways. So we've got two there. Okay.